Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to transfer your iTunes library from one computer to another. Now this might sound very common and you would think that Apple has come up with a very easy way to do this. Unfortunately I have found no such easy fix for this. So in this brief tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to transfer to a new computer without too much of a hassle. So we're going to jump right into it and we're going to start by heading over and opening up our iTunes library. So what you want to do is head up to the file tab at the top left and left click on it. So once you've left click on that, you want to left click on library and then you want to left click on organized library. Check mark this box that says consolidate files puts copies of all media files used by iTunes in the iTunes media folder and leaves the original files in their current locations. Then click on OK. So now we have to go locate where our iTunes media is being stored. So I'm going to minimize out of this iTunes application. And you can either search on the start menu for File Explorer or if you have a little icon on the desktop you can left click on that. So the little folder icon. So I'm going to open that up. And assuming you have a normal location for your music and you haven't changed it during the installation, which I'm assuming most people have not, we are going to go underneath this PC on Windows 10, Windows 8 and older. I don't believe since this PC, it might say my computer or C drive or something like that. The whole idea is we're trying to get underneath our local disk or C drive, assuming most people's local disk is their C drive. If it's something else, you want to go with that instead. So you want to double click to open that up. Then you want to go underneath users by double clicking on that one as well. Now you want to double click on your current user account. My account happens to be John Smith. Double click on that. Then there should be something that says music. Double click on that. And now we see something that says iTunes. So now what you want to do is right click on this entire folder. Well it's only one folder but you want to right click on it and then left click on copy from near the bottom of this context menu. So now that we have it copied, now I would recommend transferring that over to a USB flash drive and then or thumb drive and then stick it into your new computer and then you want to just drag and drop so copy and paste it onto your desktop somewhere. So I'm going to paste in our iTunes library. So it doesn't matter how you get it over here, all you want to do is just transfer this folder from one computer to another. Most people have a flash drive that they can do this with. So like I said, just paste it into like the folder. So if you have a removal media or something like that, you just want to right click inside the window and then paste it in. And then in your new computer, however you would open up a new thumb drive or flash drive, it would say autoplay or movable device you want to open the folder to view all the files, open it up, and then just drag it out and then paste it on the desktop of whatever computer you're transferring it over to. So now that we're on the computer that we're looking to transfer our files to. So now what you want to do is head back to File Explorer on our new computer here. Go back on our local disk, go underneath Users, whatever the new user account is, it might be the same name if you own both devices. Now you're going to go back to music, double click on music. Now there should be a folder that says iTunes here. Now assuming that you have not already saved music to this new device, that's assuming that it's a fresh install because this will overwrite any music you currently have installed on your new computer, your second computer. So just keep that in mind, we're just transferring over the one library and replacing it with the other. So just keep that in mind, it should sound pretty straightforward to most people. We're not just like keeping some songs and getting rid of other songs. So now that we're underneath the music folder of our new computer, we're going to select the iTunes folder, right click on it. You can also use the keyboard shortcut as well for delete. We're going to delete this. It says it cannot be completed because I probably because I have iTunes open here. So if I close out of iTunes. So now if I go back in, right click and then delete, should delete, 
Now I'm going to take what I transferred over to my desktop from my removable media device that I transferred over from my original computer and I'm going to paste it right in, just drag and drop. You can also right click on a copy and then right click inside here and paste if you prefer. I prefer dragging and dropping so you don't have two instances of the iTunes folder saved on your computer. You only need one saved here as this is your default location for your iTunes library. So at this point you can close out of the music folder. You should be able to open up iTunes and your music library should have been transferred over from your other computer. So pretty straightforward. I do hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.